This is where uh -huh. if you don't listen uh -huh. to me, you go to jail. Uh -huh. So put them down. I'm taking it. Listen. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You don't have any. So, what's your name, boss? Yeah. My name's Jared. What's your name? Marty. Marty? Marty. What's your last name? Marty. Oh, yeah. 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 Some people, when getting arrested, put up such a fight that they turn a routine arrest into a nightmare for the cops. But what happens when the suspect isn't just resisting, but seems possessed by something darker? Imagine the fear creeping up the officer's spines as they face not just human defiance, but something that feels otherworldly. So as long as I've... She had cat hair on her mouth. As long as I've been a policeman, I've never had a call where someone was eating a cat. Here are four of the most chilling, haunted arrests ever captured on police body cam. Starting with a possessed man, what began as a routine response to a radio call about a screaming man turned into a tense and dangerous encounter for officers. Put it down. Hey, put the bottle down. Get down to the ground. Get down to the ground. On August 14th, 2019, around 5.50 p.m., officers from the Los Angeles Police Department's Pacific Division were responding to a radio call about a man screaming in the area of Thornton Court and Pacific Avenue. Pacific units in 14 x 16, 14 x 16, screaming man, Thornton and Pacific, third, Thornton and Pacific, between Pacific and Speedway in the alley off of Thornton, Code for incident 5092 and RD 1412. When the officers arrived at the scene, they encountered a 37-year-old man named John Penny, who was believed to be the subject of the call. From the start, Penny was aggressive and did not comply with the officer's repeated commands. No, man, I just want to talk to you. The additional units. Yeah, right. What's the real point? Hey, man, just put the bottle What's down. What's the real point? We're just trying to make sure what? you're all right. I'm real blunt. What? What's the real point? What are you talking about? Put I'm down the blunt. put down the bottle. Put down the lock. Nine. What's the real point? Put down the bottle. No. Put down the lock. No. What are you doing? So you can talk to me like a real man. What's a real blunt? What's a real what? A real blunt. Real blunt? Yeah. Like a marijuana blunt? A real, a real blunt. What's your question? What's a real blunt? I don't know, man. You have to explain the Hey, more go money. inside, guys. Thank you. Hey, put the bottle down. For about three minutes, the officers attempted to de-escalate the situation by telling Penny to put down a bottle he was holding and comply with their requests. Despite their efforts, Penny ignored them and continued to act erratically. Realizing that Penny was not cooperating, one of the officers decided to use a taser to subdue him, hoping that this would resolve the situation. Put the bottle down. Put the bottle down. I'll tase you. Do not follow. Put the bottle down. I'll tase you? I will. You think that hurts? Put the bottle down. Put it down. Put the taser down. Put the bottle down. No. I'm telling you. Put it down. What's your real blood, dude? Put the bottle down. What's your real blood? Hey, you might want to get a backup for this guy. What's the real blunt? Put the bottle down. What's the real blunt? I don't know, man. Put the bottle down so I can talk to you. Hey, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Hey, put the bottle down. You know I'm real blunt. Get down to the ground. You know I'm real blunt. Get down to the ground. Get down to the ground. Put it down. Put it down. Did you request a backup? Put it down. Hey, he's a, he's gonna throw that at you. Forty him when he, if he comes back. Hey, put it down. However, even after the taser was deployed, Penny did not follow the officer's instructions. As backup units arrived, the situation became more serious. The officers armed themselves with less lethal weapons, including a beanbag shotgun and a 40 millimeter launcher. Both of these weapons are designed to incapacitate a person without causing severe injuries. As the standoff continued, Penny picked up a weighted object and began swinging it around, further escalating the danger. Hey, 
Get down. Hey, hey, I shot. 14 FP4, shots fired. Oh, she needs help. Get back. Put After some time, Penny grabbed a wooden plank and advanced toward the officers in a threatening manner. Seeing the immediate threat, one officer fired a beanbag round, another fired a 40 millimeter foam projectile, and a third officer fired his handgun. Penny was struck in the leg and forearm by these shots, but continued resisting for about eight more minutes before he was finally subdued and taken into custody. Following his arrest, Penny was transported to a local hospital for medical treatment. The police later revealed that Penny had a criminal history, including convictions for weapons violations, battery, narcotics, and resisting arrest. At the time of the incident, he was also on probation for battery. Based on this incident, the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office filed charges against Penny, including preventing officers from performing their duties and possession of a dangerous weapon. However, if you think this is creepy, then you are mistaken because this next demon takes four cops down and even tackles two tasers. Get his Taser, taser, no. taser. Taser, taser, no. taser. Get right. back. Oh. Taser. Oh. 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 On November 3rd, 2023, deputies from the Pellis County Sheriff's Office were called to a Starbucks after receiving reports of a female customer later identified as Nicole McAuliffe, behaving disorderly. She was allegedly threatening customers, vandalizing the store, and making a scene. When the first officer arrived at the scene, Nicole immediately ran out of the Starbucks. The officer chased after her, instructing her to stop. Despite repeated commands, Nicole refused to comply and continued resisting the officer's attempts to restrain her. Stop, Nicole. Don't Nicole, stop. No. Stop. Stop. Leave me the f alone. Leave me the f alone. Leave me the f alone. Stop. I swear to God. Stop. I swear. 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 Stop. I swear. I swear. Stop. I swear. F you. No f you. Nicole, you gonna f you. Mother stop. You mother. Stop. Stop! Oh, for real? You motherfuckers don't fucking know you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I swear to fucking God! I swear to fucking God! I swear to God! I swear to fucking God! You stupid bitches! I swear to God! Just... I swear to fucking God! I swear to God! Keep up, Back up! Back the fuck up! Back the fuck up! See, you think it's funny. What the f <sighs> Nicole, Nicole, stop! Roll over. Stop! Roll over. During the chase and struggle, Nicole repeatedly swore and became increasingly aggressive, like she was possessed by some demon. The officer warned her that if she didn't stop, he would use a taser. Nicole still refused to follow instructions, leading the officer to tase her in an attempt to subdue her. Taser! Get his Taser, taser, no! Taser, taser, taser! No! taser, taser, taser. Get right. back! Taser! Oh. 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 Give me! Give me! I swear to God! Yo! No. You! Taser, taser, taser! No! Get the fuck away from me! Roll over! Roll over! Roll over! Even after being tased, she continued to resist and swear at the officers. Eventually, additional officers arrived, and they were able to put handcuffs on her after a prolonged struggle. God, God. Get her out of the door. Get her out of the door. Stop. Give us Stop. the other arm now. No. 
Come on. Here you go. Get out of the door. Stop. Stop. Give me your arm now, Mr. God. This way you go. This way you go. 19. 10 4. Still fighting. Pull the arm. There you go. Possibly one taser. 19, 10, 15. Taser twice. Sizzle, there's zero. You're going to tear God. God. Once Nicole was handcuffed, the first officer entered the Starbucks to speak with the employees. They explained that Nicole had been acting erratically, saying she wanted to harm herself and others, and even threatened to stab people. She also caused damage inside the store, throwing cups off the shelves and behaving violently toward customers and staff. While officers attempted to place her in their vehicle for transport, Nicole continued to resist, claiming she was possessed by demons and that this was the reason for her behavior. At one point, she threatened to bite the officers and continued to shout and swear, making it difficult for them to control the situation. Back the f off. Nope. You back the f off. And they're out trying to bite somebody. Oh, oh, this place. 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 Oh, Nope. Hey, Roman. God, pull it. Ah, ah. Tell the demons to stop. Yeah, there, yeah, motherfucker. Shut the f out. Shut the f out. Yeah, I, I blocked it right now. Oh. I need a hobble. Hey. God. Uh, do we want to move this car out of the way? Yeah. There's a, a hobble taser. Uh -huh. No, uh, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. It's the only way to get to it. Good job. 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 I'm not ah. as close to open. Ah. They, they ripped it open so they can do the same thing. No, no, no. Due to her aggressive behavior, officers were forced to restrain her further, using a hobble and a spit mask before taking her to the hospital for evaluation. Nicole McAuliffe was eventually charged with multiple offenses, including criminal mischief, disorderly conduct, battery on a law enforcement officer, and resisting an officer with violence. Unlike previous violent suspects, this next woman silently killed a cat and ate in front of the officers. Why'd you kill the cat? Stand up. She said she killed two, two kids. Stand up. I'm still worried. I'm still worried. Put your hands behind your back. August 16th, 2024. Key West police responded to a 911 call that none of them could have ever imagined. A woman named Alexis Tia Farrell was live streaming a nightmare on Facebook Live. Her cousin, horrified, watched as Farrell appeared to kill and eat a cat. Police arrived at a scene straight out of a horror story. Farrell was covered in blood, her hands, mouth, even her shoes. She admitted to killing the cat, though she denied eating it. But there it was, cat hair in her mouth. Stand up. She said she killed two, two kids. Stand up. I'm still worried. I'm still worried. Put your hands behind your back. Someone got rubber gloves. She's covering blood. All right, you got gloves. You got rubber gloves. Nine five. Nine five. Get one in custody. Where do you live at? Twenty two fifty five hours. Cuff her up. Hold on, I'm putting a blanket on that back seat first. Uh, you only get the pictures of her hand and or we get to take pictures of her cat. 
Yeah. I'll get it. We'll just do our route, huh? Don't get in the car yet. Forty-eight. You contact the caller. Never come up with our force. Yeah. Hold on. So you have a right to remain silent on anything you say. Cannon will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney if you can't afford one. Won't be appointed to you at state's expense. You have a right to have that attorney present during any questioning. You have a right to stop answering any questions once they begin. Do you understand your rights? Do you understand? Smile for me. Smile with your teeth. Go like this. Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? No, why'd you kill it? Get in there. It's ridiculous. It's alright, other kitty, you're safe. Did you guys see all this? No, we pulled up and she was just laying there with me. Did you see her eating it? She was eating it? Her disoriented state left officers questioning whether they were facing drug-induced madness or something far more terrifying. During the arrest, Farrell uttered something even more chilling. She claimed she had killed two children, but as officers scrambled to investigate, they discovered her children were alive and safe. Farrell, it seemed, was lost in a mental abyss, far from reality. Handcuffed and charged with animal cruelty, Farrell was taken into custody, while the remains of the cat were handled by the Humane Society. One officer remarked, In all my years of service, I've never seen anything like this. This horrifying act left the community shocked and haunted by what they had witnessed. I told him, I don't like him anymore. So as long as I've... She had cat hair on her mouth. As long as I've been a policeman, I've never had a call where someone was eating a cat. Yeah. I hope this does not set the mood for uh, the Friday night. <laughs> Farrell now faces serious charges, but the image of her gruesome live stream, that's something no one will forget. However, this last possessed man not only refused to leave the premises, but also physically resisted and even threatened the officers by talking like an evil spirit. Relax and stop tensing. Stop tensing. Right now you're already going to jail for resisting arrest. On top of trespassing. Trespassing. You been diagnosed with anything? On September 1st, 2022, what seemed like a routine call to a Walmart in the late evening would quickly turn into something much darker. A man, defiant and eerie in his demeanor, refused to leave the store even after multiple warnings from employees. His words were cryptic, his behavior unsettling. Some might say, possessed. Well, I'll just skin them. Like I'm supposed to get them by right. No, I got them. Put them down. It's all right. You can't buy. You are. Right. They're not gonna let you. I'm buy. taking it. Listen, this is where uh -huh. if you don't listen uh -huh. to me, you go to jail. Uh -huh. So put them down. I'm taking it. Listen. Hey, don't touch me. When the officer arrived, what he found wasn't just an ordinary trespasser. The man stood his ground, eyes vacant, refusing to leave. The officer calmly approached, explaining that he couldn't buy the item and would need to leave. But the man resisted, his movements jerky, his voice rising. Don't touch me, he warned, as if something far more sinister lurked beneath his words. Stop! 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 Please. Stop! Please. Stop! You can roll over? I'm not trying to choke you. But if you're gonna act like that, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do. Stop. Cause it's listen, it ain't gotta be this way. Yeah, just just calm down for It's okay. Because I don't wanna have to tase you. It's okay. Yeah, y'all just get here as fast as you can. Open your hands, open your hands, and relax. Relax. You okay? Why you gotta do all this? It ain't, it ain't worth this video time. 
Relax and stop tensing. Stop tensing. Because right now you're already going to jail for resisting arrest. On top of trespassing. Trespassing. You been diagnosed with anything? You were diagnosed with death soon. Just be ready, just in case, all right? Uh, it's just easy for me to hold him right here today. Okay. Stop. 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 Hey, stop grabbing me. You stop me. Are you not grabbing me? Are you not grabbing me? The officer's warnings fell on deaf ears. The man's behavior only grew more erratic as he backed away, unwilling to comply. He seemed to be in another world, muttering under his breath, like someone possessed by forces beyond understanding. Suddenly, the confrontation turned physical. The officer moved in, attempting to restrain the man, bringing him to the ground. Stop resisting, the officer demanded, but the man continued to struggle, his body trembling in unnatural ways. As the officer restrained him, he heard cryptic murmurings, something otherworldly. You want to go this way? Say you just got me. Say you 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 Hey, if you don't give up, you're going to be tased. You're going to get tased. Roll on your Say you got me. That's how you speak. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. You get say my name. Probably one, two, three. I don't know. Let me hold Travis still, though. You got it. Is this the same day? Huh? Is this the same guy we fought with up front the other day? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not familiar with him. You got a good number like this? Say my name. Take some deep breaths, okay? Say my name. Throughout the encounter, the officer asked for the man's name. But instead of answering, the man asked the officer to say his name. The officer warned him that he would be tased if he didn't cooperate, but the man remained in his strange trance, mumbling riddles and repeating, say my name. However, the officer tased him for his non-compliance and detained him. Finally, the officer managed to restrain the man with the help of other officers, but the atmosphere remained thick with unease. What's your name? The officer asked again. The man's response, I am the mighty. His refusal to give any personal details meant one thing. He would be staying in jail until they could figure out who he truly was. You're under arrest right now, you understand that? Okay, so you're gonna go down to the jail. Now here's the issue. If you don't tell us who you are, that jail is not gonna release you, okay? So you are gonna have to sit behind a, behind a bar in a cell until you tell us who you are. So why don't you just tell us your name now? And we can work all this out, all right? Okay? So, what's your name, boss? Yeah. My name's Jared. What's your name? Marty. Marty? Marty. What's your last name? Mighty Mo. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. What's your uh, date of birth, bud? Mighty. I, I, you seem mighty. I, I, I see that. What's your date of birth? You're going to have to ask him when he comes. Okay. Well, I want to talk to you. I'm mighty. I, I get that, but I'm not asking that right now. I'm asking you, when were you born? Don't worry about that. I do. I am worried. <sighs> you see this? Okay. Can you help me out here? Call him. He will come. I don't know who to call. So you are. Okay. Ask the officers. I don't know that guy. I want to talk to you, man. I am mighty. You are talking to me. Okay. Will you help me out here? Will you tell me what, what your date of birth is? You don't have. You don't have birth dates? Okay. Okay. Um, where do you stay at? Where do you live? At 10 33 on February 3rd, February 3rd, 2015, or search more all in the science department radio channel. I'm going to go bring. As the officer took the man into custody, there was a lingering sense of dread. His cryptic words, his erratic behavior, it all pointed to something beyond the normal scope of mental illness or defiance. The officer couldn't shake the feeling that, in that moment, he had encountered something unnatural. 